Since 1967, we have had more than 2,500 alumni who have studied music here at Kent State University through the Kent Blossom Music Festival. And uh, we have musicians that have gone on to pepper every major orchestra in this country and most of the big string quartets also. You have to put in the time, especially when you're during your college years, that's when you pay your dues, that's when you establish your technical and musical foundation so that you can go out in the professional world and have a lot of tools at your disposal. Kent Blossom is kind of the unique blend of both those uh, chamber music and orchestral experiences. And all the feedback I've had in the last 15 years or so that I've been teaching here is that they, they really enjoyed it. It was a different experience. I've been doing this for about 20 years now. I did Kent Blossom music before I became a faculty member at Kent State. And it's, for me, it's all about the chamber music. And I think, think there is orchestral experience and a fantastic one with the members of the Cleveland Orchestra. But for the students to work on chamber music with members of the Cleveland Orchestra, members of the Miami Quartet and other Kent State faculty members. It's a real, it's a real treat and, and one, of, one of its kind. From the very beginning of the festival, the students have been studying individually and uh, collectively with members of the Cleveland Orchestra. But at the very end, they get to perform with them on stage at the Blossom Music Center. This year, it happens to be Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. And the students sit right in with the Cleveland Orchestra members. They rehearse uh, twice, once at Severance Hall, once out of Blossom, and then they give a concert with, the, with their teachers and their mentors. So it's it, we've purposely always made it the last event for the last several years because it's such a highlight. The faculty concert series is a chance where we can practice what we preach. So the Cleveland Orchestra members um, and myself and Robbie, we get in there and coach also. And um, we, it's our chance to perform on stage and show the students um, how much we love, how much we radiate our love for chamber music and how good it is for us, like taking your vitamins, you know, for um, being a great orchestral player or being a great soloist. I'd really like to encourage our audiences to come out for July 25th for the final faculty chamber music concert, which does feature new works, including my own horn sonata. I think that the audiences will find these, this particular concert inspirational, creative, and just a lot of fun. And uh, new music is such a huge and important part of every concert these days. There's such a lot of great stuff being written, and I think that audiences need to expose themselves to it and will certainly enjoy it.